In this video, you will learn how to build a driver for the IC103 communication. So, this demo will help you to start building a driver. So, we are going to make a very basic implementation on the IC103 driver. For this demo, I will use the VAM40 feeder and motor protection relay. And I will use also the documentation for the IC103 DLL. In this file, you will have all information you need to implement the tags from your the hour list according to the different ASDU and different information you need to implement inside your driver. So now we go back to E3 and I will insert here one driver in my project and I will choose the file IC103. Then the basic setting is OK for my VAM40 relay. I will also show you the transfer disturbance function. And for this reason here, I need to input the correct folder. In setup here, I will use serial communication since my VAM40 is working with a serial interface. So my serial to USB cable is connected on COM3. Then this are the settings is OK. Then I press OK and I can start to build my driver by selecting some tag here. This our kit is common to all the protocol like IC103, our 4 and I can choose some tag to give me some information. So sometimes if you want to do some troubleshooting, you can choose some, some tag. This tag have nothing in specific to the IC103, but it can give you some information. For example, physical layer status is just the status of the physical layer, which is the cable connection. So if you want to check if your table, the cable is connected cor correctly, you just can check the value. The value is two if the connection is okay. One means disconnect. So in my case here, I can start to build my driver. The first important tag you need to implement for the IC103 is the relay on off. The relay on off is one tag which you need to set to one if you want to start communicating with the device. So in my table, if I check carefully, here, relay on off, on is one, off zero. So it controls the relay communication. This tag has to be set to one to start communication with the relay. So here I need to keep in mind three, two, three. And here I need to write for N2, three, two, three. Then this one is just, I need to write the value one. So the other tag that we are going to implement, we are going to divide into a category. So here I will insert one folder and then we call this model measurement. In measurement, I just want to test three tag that you will continue according to your hour list. And I will make one more for the disturbance. So for the tag, you need to implement different kind of tag according to the type, data type of your tag. So here you will find all the information you need for the ASDU. You can use ASDU 3 or ASDU 9, and then you have to also write the information for the function. So the function multiply by 2, 5, 6 plus information type will give you the correct information for the data type. In our case, for the simple testing, I will also implement one this is the address. And here I need to use ASDU3 or ASDU9. And the code will be, if the calculation is correct, I will use this basic testing. And the address from 0, 1, and 3. 1, 0, 1, 2. 
Okay, then this is only for the read only. Okay, I can start just the communication by this way by activating my driver. So here the value changed to two. It means that the cable is connected. If I start again, it starts from one to two. It means that the cable connection is okay. This tag is common to every protocol, so it has nothing to do with IEC 103, but you can test the communication, just the co cable communication, the physical layer, by this way. Now here, my relay on off need to set to one. Of course, if you want to, you can also read and write to see the value. So when you start, the value is zero. Then I will just write value to one. Then when the driver starts, you need some time and then you can get the value and from this tag. So here, the quality of my signal means that the value is really reading from the device. And then now I'm going to tell you how to use the disturbance record. For the disturbance record, we need to implement some tag in our driver. So the tag we need to implement for the disturbance record, it's the first one here. The name is if country a variable second one is driver status Then I will also need, I can show, it's not necessary, but I can show the number of records. So this is kind of counter. And I can insert the block. So this block is very important because this block will allow you to upload the contract. So this block have only two tags. The first element is active upload. And the second element is base name. So this one, number of record, is not so necessary. But the first and second one, and the block, this is what you need to upload the comtrade. So if comtrade available, this one, if comtrade available, this tag, the code is 300. Second one, driver status, is 302. Then the block for the upload contract is 330. And the last tag, which is less important, is 328. So this one is only read only. And I want to show you how I can get this information for this tag. Actually, you always have to refer to this document. It will tell you all the information about the tag or special tag you need to implement. So here we have a 300, which is read-only, come trade waiting record. 301, contract ready suspended. So this information we don't have in our demo because this is not so important for our case. So we only implement the driver status. So it will give you some information about the status of the disturbance record function. And the block is at address 330 here. This is to activate the com trade uploading and also to give information about the base name. 
which means that if I want, I can give a new name when the contract will be ready and restore in my computer. The system will give you the name I can specify here for this specific tag. This one, active load download, active upload, will be the tag I need to set to 2 when the driver status and or the if control variable have the correct value. So now if I activate my driver like this, I already have information about the driver status. Now I just stand by. So I can check this status in my documentation. So here is just like normal pour or general integration. This is the normal status of my tag. It will continuously asking if there is any file ready from the device. In case that I have a new country file, the value here, these two values will change. So now I'm going to trigger one country manually from VEM40. So now I just trigger one. Okay. So the value here will change. Okay, now it's 10. So what, what 10 means? 10 means come trade waiting as you to 31. Then now the system is preparing the file. So I need to wait until the value here change to 1. Means that 1 file is ready for storing in my computer. So here the value is 19. 19 means waiting record. If I want to trigger upload, here I need to write 2. And then it's ready and transfer. And then these two files come back to normal integration. I can specify the base name if I want to change the contrade file, file name to my computer. So if I do it again, I can trigger one more. So here is 10 again. The file is preparing. Okay, so this is how you can start to build your driver for the IC103 protocol. You have the part for the measurement and the part for the disturbance. One other video will teach you how to implement the command for the Ableist power. Thank you.